I have the great pleasure right now of talking with Dr. Larry Jamison, Editor-in-Chief of the Journal of the Endocrine Society. Thank you so much for being here. Great. So this is launching later this year. Tell me all about it. It is. It's very exciting. You know, the Endocrine Society is celebrating 100 years, yes. and it's entirely appropriate that we mark this uh, landmark time with a new journal. It's the first journal in over 30 years, so it's a terrific opportunity. So tell me about how it will differ from the other journals of the Endocrine Society. Well, the, the traditional journals of the Endocrine Society have been paper journals, uh, JCEM, endocrinology. They're also available online, but this journal will be open access. It's a new kind of format, and it will be available to readers throughout the world. Uh, doctors, uh, students, teachers, the lay public, uh, everyone will be able to read this material uh, just by having access to online uh, capability through the internet. And many journals are available now through libraries, but in many parts of the world that's a limited form of access. When we think about Endo 2016, there really is an international reach and so many people coming from all over the world, so it makes sense that you would be able to then connect further. How does that help in the field and in the science and, and promoting that? Well, you know, the Endocrine Society has had two major functions. One is to convene people through meetings like this, and there are over 250 Endocrine Societies around the world. Uh, many come here for this meeting. But our other venue is to disseminate information through our journals. And it's important for us to have a global reach if we're going to change the health of populations around the world. And uh, an important goal of this is to have associate editors from different parts of the world with domain expertise in diabetes, adrenal, thyroid, other aspects of endocrinology. Uh, but we also want them to connect uh, their scientists and their physicians in their own parts of the world encourage them to submit their papers to the Journal of the Endocrine Society, and in turn, uh, be able to access that information very readily. You talk about some lofty and, and wonderful goals here, but is there anything else that you want people to know about this? Well, I think because it's not a paper journal, it will give us flexibility of format. So we'll be able to have case reports, images, we can do playful things with the images, allow people to try to identify the diagnosis. We can put databases in that are very large uh, that may not be so easily uh, published in traditional journals. I think the other thing is the speed of publication. Uh, it should allow our associate editors to uh, go through the peer review process, make a decision, and we expect these articles to be available within three days online and in a formatted version within about 10 days critical information, getting to people rapidly all around the world. Sounds tremendous. Thank you so much.